Hello everyone, this is Keith Ritual, and today I'm here with my friend Tanner. Um, you might remember from my 31 days of Halloween, he was my day 31 ham body paint. But now we're going to be teaching him makeup, as well as you guys. So today we're actually going to start with basics. We're going to be starting with foundation application. Let's cut that part out. <laughs> so we're going to start with foundation application. Um, so there are many different kinds of foundation. Uh, we both already picked our own, but there's different kinds. There's, of course, aerosol foundations. There's BB creams, tinted moisturizers. I don't know why I pulled this one up. There's even things like BB waters. Um, and then, of course, there's cream foundation. This is a cream stick. Um, some foundations are better for dry skin, such as creams and liquids. Well, some things such as powders and liquids, depending on, of course, the formula, it could be better for oily skin. Um, he picked out a liquid of sorts, um, just because this is like the only one I have that matched him that wasn't from a palette. Um, so we're going to actually show you how to apply foundation. So there's a lot of different ways to apply foundation. Um, there's beauty blenders, which we'll be using today. There's also flat uh, brushes, which is actually usually recommended with things like Makeup Forever. They recommend a flat brush to apply theirs and not a beauty blender, but we're not using that one today. There is also brushes such as this one, which is more for like buffing in the foundation, which is actually more recommended for something like Born This Way. Um, so we're actually going to start with our perspective uh, primers. So I'm using Naked Skin Primer. This is already also sort of a BB cream. Um, he is going to be using Clinique Pepstar. So you want to apply that? Well, I apply this. First one to use it. So mine is actually a Beauty Balm slash primer. So it has a little bit of color. And his is actually a moisturizer primer. Meant more for the, uh, well, it's pretty much all skin types, but it's more meant for oily. So it helps mattify the skin. Since I am more of the dry type, he's more of the oily. I was gonna say, just like while you're doing that, you said like, that brush would be recommended. Why is it specifically like that one? So specifically this one, it's just what they recommend. So this one, it's good because if you use um, a different, like a brush like this, or even like, <coughs> excuse me, like this, you get more full coverage. Okay, wait, yeah. what? Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the reason you want to use a flat brush for this one is because they have little um, high, um, hyaluronic acid, amino acid, I'm sorry, amino acid beads. And if you use a wet uh, sort of beauty blender, it's gonna break them down and gonna not sort of apply as smoothly on the skin. There's like different reasons. Go do your research. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start by applying our foundation. So take a little bit on the back of your hand. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm actually gonna use a flat brush instead of a beauty blender, honestly. That's more too much. Than, yeah, that's more than enough. <laughs> <laughs> So take a little bit, <laughs> take a little bit on your beauty blender, and you're gonna just sort of tap, like just a little bit, and just sort of tap starting with the center of the face, like cheek area, nose, and just sort of blend, like tap it out, and then I'm gonna actually do a beauty blender to show you. Yeah, I don't know how to use it. <laughs> so, Never in my life. <laughs> so I'm a super beginner. <laughs> So this is how you apply. so you take a little bit and then you want to sort of blend it. Okay. I've never used a hand mirror for my YouTube, so this is hard for me. You want to get all the way, and then you even want to go a little bit down the neck to sort of blend your foundation out, so you don't have VDL. Sorry, not VDL. What is that? VML. This will make a blend. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Are you thinking of video? I don't know. <laughs> I was thinking of resting bitch face, really, but like, that doesn't really make any sense. <laughs> I don't know what DBL is, I but I always I think of DBL when I'm trying to say DML. <laughs> Unless it's like visible beauty line or something. <laughs> Foundations come in multiple coverages. Some are sheer, some medium, some full, some are even total, and some are a variant. So you, could, so you can build them, so they can, this one is actually a buildable one, while yours is more sheer to medium. Because 
Both of us have decent skin. We don't need to cake that crap off. <laughs> so I would recommend someone who has a lot of acne that they get a foundation that they can apply with a beauty blender so they can pat it on. Because if you rub against it with like a brush too much, you can end up actually irritating your acne. I know, it's like, it's, it's, it's not really like sticking on my forehead, it's like I'm sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> well, this isn't teaching, it's not like no, we got to master it by the time we finish this right. video. <laughs> If you're wondering what shades we use, actually, he uses medium three in the Guerlain Meteorites, and I'm using shade 300 in Dior Air Flash. Okay, so to continue, let's see, we have 10 minutes left to finish. Okay. So to finish off the foundation, so we're not going to do anything concealer. We're just doing foundation in this. So we're going to be using setting powders. So he's going to be using Chez Bala. You're going to use this brush. Don't start yet because I know you're going to overcake it. Never <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to be using the Guerlain Medium 3, the Meteorites. So what you want to do is take a little bit on your brush. Just a little bit, not too much. And then you want to tap off the excess. No worries about the end. So now you want to sort of roll it onto the skin. You don't want to like pull, you want to just sort of pat. Everywhere. Everywhere. Because you're going to set the makeup into your skin. I apply this stuff throughout the day depending on the setting powder. So if you want to get a setting powder, that you can reapply throughout the day if you get a little oily just to sort of dry up the, the area. Although I recommend blotting before you do. It's like using a blotting paper or even a blotterati by Beauty Blender. But with this, um, something like a finishing powder, you do not want to reapply. Something like this. This is the um, finishing powders by Hourglass. You only want to apply these once or twice. You don't want to over uh, apply because you will actually give yourself flashback on camera. Which I'm actually going to use a finishing powder now. I'm going to use Dim Light by Hourglass, which I never use in my videos. And you just sort of pat this on. It sort of like evens out your skin without setting. Like without using a setting powder. This is like the, the final step. Okay, wait, so that one you can do, you can apply it during the day of that one. This one, neither one of these can you reapply because right. both of these have a sort of a sheen in it. Okay. I don't, I think this is just, um... Sorry, I wasn't in it. You weren't in it. I was, I was, I was, I was, <laughs> You can rewatch the video. Okay. <laughs> you know what, that's true. <laughs> It for foundation it's very simple there you might do research on the foundation you want to buy making sure it actually works for your skin because some people are like obsessed with something like makeup forever some people break out because of it you got to make sure you don't just buy one because your friends say it's cool <laughs> honestly no. because your friend's skin might be completely different than your own skin and be sure you do a little bit of research into that but um, I hope you all enjoyed this video we will see you next time for what, what should we do next time? Isn't it, um, um, contouring we'll do complexion. 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 <laughs> so next video we'll do complexion. So keep subscribed to see that one. That comes out next week. <laughs> I almost forgot. What? There's also a thing called setting sprays. Oh, These yeah. work just as well. This one, Ibuki by Shiseido, is my current favorite. But you can only use this up to three times a day. Some you can use often throughout the day. But it's a, it's a simple setting mist. It's actually micronized powder. But yeah, that's it now. And I will see you all next time, so have a good day. Bye! <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, if you would like to check out my previous two videos, I have two over here two for you to click on. <laughs> also, you can subscribe down below. Um, and also, don't forget to like and comment and tell us what you thought. You can also find Tanner on social media. Oh, oh, uh, Instagram Tanner. <laughs> it's T T A N N E R R R. <laughs> you can go follow him on Instagram, but I will see you all next time. Have a good day. Peace.